My name is Noel, I'm a psychotherapist, excuse me. Welcome to my YouTube channel, short video today on um, whether or not um, residential rehab is useful. I mean, of course it's useful, uh, but who in particular might it help? Um, so the sort of people that it might help are people who have become physically dependent on a drug um, or have very chronic codependency issues, so have reached a stage of um, being quite suicidal about their relationships, for example. Um, so if, if you're in that state, you might want to think about residential rehab um, because you'll get um, a, a sort of 24-hour support that you're likely to need. Certainly if you become sort of um, physically dependent on a drug or, or alcohol, um, you'll need medical supervision to end it. Depending on the drug, you may, might need medical supervision for, for a period of time. Alcohol is relatively short. Same with chronic codependency, really. If you find yourself being triggered by all the people around you, your work colleagues, your family, your friends, etc., then um, you may need a time away from all of that um, with a brand new set of relationships um, with the counsellors, the staff, and also often the peer group that you'll be joining, um, whether it be people like yourself who are working to get well and stay well. And in that sort of environment where you're no longer getting the the same sorts of triggers uh, from the same sorts of people, um, you can sort of uh, often use it as a way of going quite deep into yourself and understanding at a very deep level what's going on uh, and how to avoid um, patterns of uh, behaviour that have led you to using either on your codependency or, or your chemical addiction or your alcohol, for example, or your self-harm. Um, so it can be very useful in that context if you need really some time out to um, have an, a different type of mirror to reflect you back to yourself in a different way and learn completely new coping strategies. Um, and why would you go to rehab? Often there's a lot of guilt uh, around that. Um, ultimately, the people around you are going to thank you because you'll get well. Um, it does give you a chance to really intensively work on the issues and um, practice um, in a sort of 24-7 environment how to cope and not use. Um, you get an opportunity to sort of medically become well uh, and also you get an opportunity to become healthier, physically learn new skills around um, eating and meal times and bedtimes and self-care. Um, so generally your health and well-being is going to improve quite vastly if you go to a residential setting rather than an outpatient treatment. I hope that gives you some idea of what's, what's useful about that. As a psychotherapist, I tend to think of it as this. We are, in a sense, as human beings, as social animals, we are the sort of collection of what we're born with and all the social relationships around us. And those social relationships around us are crucial. Um, sometimes we get into really unhealthy patterns of behaviour with people around us. And some time out from that to reflect upon that can be incredibly useful. In the early days of um, the sort of pioneering work of Alcoholics Anonymous, for example, um, there was a psychologist I spoke to, Young, C.G. Young, who talked about it like this. He says that the recovering alcoholic or codependent needs around them a wall of humanity in which they drop themselves inside that wall of humanity um, and within that they can begin to construct a new sense of self, a sober sense of self. Um, which is a very interesting way of thinking about it. So going to residential rehab can be the beginnings of that process of developing a new way of being, a new sense of your social self, yourself connected to other people, but a sober, happy and um, ultimately more involved human being, somebody who gives back to society. I uh, hope that's useful. If you have any issues around addiction or codependency, do give me a call 07506 319 745. I can also help you source and find uh, residential rehabs or indeed outpatient programmes. Do give me a call or email me on noel at noelmcdermott.net. Thanks for dropping by and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.